I'll be presenting today's Radiopedia.org case in radiology, subcapital fracture due to transient osteoporosis of the hip. Case courtesy is demonstrated here, and the case link is in the description below. Presentation, we have a 30-year-old female admitted to the high-risk pregnancy unit due to fetal growth deceleration. The patient has been suffering for two weeks from left hip pain radiating to the thigh. The patient has been able to walk, but with a limp. The patient delivered at 36 weeks gestation. On x-ray, we see that there's a left femoral neck fracture, which is subcapital with displacement, a garden four. There also appears to be a comminuted fracture of the femoral head. Its cortex is all but invisible. On CT, we again see the left femoral neck subcapital fracture with inferior displacement and posterior angulation and femoral head impaction. There's also a comminuted fracture of the femoral head not involving the acetabular surface. The uterus is also seen to be massively enlarged. The patient is one day postpartum. The patient underwent internal fixation with three cannulated screws. Although idiopathic transient osteoporosis of the hip is considerably more common in middle-aged men, it is classically associated with young women in third trimester pregnancies. In this case, the woman sustained a garden four fracture due to the parotic bone. Despite the resultant comminuted femoral head fracture, the woman opted for a closed reduction rather than a hip replacement surgery. The latter can always be performed if the former fails.